Hi you guys, it's Haley, and today we're watching Lucifer season four, episode eight. This episode is called Super Bad Boyfriend. If you guys want early and uncut reactions, leave my Patreon down in the description. But besides that, let's just get right into it. If I was to tell you I had a mole or two on my back, perhaps you could reshape them, maybe? <laughs> Wait, you have moles that large on your back? <laughs> it's another bridge, Wells Fly. That happened one time, Lucy. <laughs> and no, I got into a fight with Remy. Apparently there is a tradition here on Earth to ask someone to be a backup parent in case something happens to oh. the child's real parents. If you really want to know how humans raise their children, maybe you should, I don't know, ask them. That's actually not bad advice. The biggest favor I can do you and the child is to stay as no. far away as possible. No, that's not true. You'd be a great godfather. So, about the other... Yeah, I wanted to. Me too. It was totally... But you know... Working together. Crossing lines. Bodies crossing. Yeah. Nope. Maybe we should. <laughs> hey, Dan's ex-wife. Ex-wife. I mean, I mean, Chloe. <gasps> So what do we what? do? <laughs> I went to see Father Kelly. Oh, did you now? <laughs> Conjuring up always to send me back to hell, are we? No, no. The frog's about to start falling from the sky, or perhaps winter is coming. Oh, look at this. this is I just don't know what to get with her. This is wonderful news. It sounds kind of bad. Oh, it's bad. It's bad, but explains why I'm changing. It's up to stop evil from being released. All I need to do is, drum roll please, break up with Eve. Just like that. Maybe I just knew all along. Knew what? That you love me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she heard from it. <laughs> right, how exactly did you end up there? I think it means that we need to, you know, break up. Great. School, parents, relationships. Relationships? Uh, uh, what advice would Miss Fires give to, say, a student in a relationship who, I don't know, needed to break up with someone? Oh, well, I wouldn't. Know. <laughs> a little smile. What were you fighting about? Oh, well, I was pissed because she was sleeping with my dad. <laughs> I was having an affair with your father. Oh, well, my parents are separated. And they totally could have fixed things, but Miss Fires was standing in the way. So hell is yeah, I was angry. What exactly was the final nail in the coffin of their relationship? Uh, weirdly enough, things got really bad after they went to couples therapy. Ooh. You have a good relationship with your father. I love all my daddies. Right. Well, so what's the problem, Taylor? This. Xanax and Adderall. Where'd you get all these drugs from? A dealer. His name is Tahir. What am I supposed to do? I just went out. Probably see him all the time. Like when you're handing out Trixie, the child you made together when you were married. That you made together. together. Okay. <laughs> Thinks I need to find a connection of my own. So I'm looking for someone I can do that with. So straightforward, I love Whatever. it. Whatever. I'm in. <laughs> you're too clingy. Never gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. Oh, oh, oh. She has such a great smile. Your expert perspective on our wonderful kinship. I'm guessing this isn't gonna end well. Please tell me about this. You're returning to a familiar pattern of denial. It's exactly what I was going to say. And he takes the exact wrong message from every single conversation oh my god every single time i think she's just a good manipulator see i'm telling you she, she knows what people want to hear is she sus or am i just suspicious of everyone oh you need bodyguards now hey what's wrong the white kids at school loving the beans a little winter hill <laughs> so you have to leave me some kind of collateral what about the king well that's never gonna happen to here what about that bling around your neck? It comes off so easily. Yes, we were having an affair, but that's over. We broke off last week. You didn't have to kill her to break up with me. <laughs> of course not. I really gave Emma no other option but to break up with me. Cliche bad husband. I see. Right? 
see where this goes. <laughs> The apple bottoms. <laughs> Yo, did you see the look on their face when you busted up homeboy's head? Oh, oh we actually got ice cream. I got skills, young buck. Not bad. I'll never doubt you again. Why are you even helping me? Never to worry if I'm gonna be a good father. So what? Um, like a test run for you? <laughs> I was just playing, man. Oh, well, that can't be right. Get down on the ground. Get your hands in your head. Listen, punk. I said, get down on the ground. Put your hands up. Hey, you're hurting him, sir. Stop right there. Put your hands up. Please just do what they say. You're hurting him. Put your hands on your head. Go off of him. I'm going to tell you one last time, asshole. Put your hands up. I'm not putting my hands above my head. Don't let me shoot you. I don't want to shoot you. Put your hands on your head. But the kid looks guilty. What exactly does looks guilty even mean, man? Are you talking about the color of his skin? He's guilty given all the evidence against him, man. Come on, how dare you? I'm filing an excessive force complaint against him as soon as all this is over. And what changes will come as a result of your complaint? Nothing. Probably nothing. Someone told them that it might have been a cop who came to Jacob Tiernan and told him that it was Lucifer himself who broke his son's back. It's an outrageous claim. Now, Chloe or Donato. Oh, Dan, what are you doing? Come on, Dan, get your act together. What kind of bullshit fantasy world do you be living in, man? I mean, look what happened to you. You didn't even do anything and you almost got shot. The only truth that matters is there. And all the stories <laughs> are made up about murderous exploits. Wow. Uh, consider me turned on. <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe I'm the problem. <laughs> that is crazy. You're awesome. Nice to meet you. Wanna have sex? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having sex on a first date. Okay. But, you know, maybe just wait a few <laughs> seconds before you go there. Looks like he's a no-show. Why don't we keep going? You know, this is really helpful. Caleb Mayfield is innocent. <laughs> Why was that so and like accusatory? To, I will accept nothing less than a game of one on one tomorrow. Oh, what a dad. As long as we can get ice cream out. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be such a good dad. Right away. Something better not happen to him. Hey, I thought it was a comedy. <laughs> Marley and me? Oh! <laughs> what? I know it's me. Like you're making the moves on this first girl. I'm not gonna say anything. Because you and me were the same. You should have seen how I played Ella today. And assholes like us, we gotta stick together. <laughs> Is that all you got? Oh, is he? Come on. Come on. Come on. He wants to get hit. Yeah. Come on, Dan. You're just gonna spiral more. Just come clean. You did. People get mad, then they'll get over it. I'm awesome. And I deserve to be treated well. You're right. I want to break up with you. I want to be with you. And I don't like who I am with you. Oh, that's gotta be really hard I to don't. hear. No, I said nothing bad has better happened to him. Oh my god. place to raise my son but it's not like you can take the baby to heaven to raise it linda can't get there right i don't know exactly how it all works i broke up with abe well you know i'm i'm sure if it's what you wanted then it's all for the best
It is what I want to. I like to see you that way. But I don't like how that makes me feel either. I wasn't gonna cry. Doing old tricks, manipulating me, using these two women to tear me apart. Do you really believe that? With every fiber of my being, but I also know it's a lie. I brought this upon myself. How's about that for starters? Don't you see? This is progress. Genuine progress, unraveling these patterns of denial. Impossible to drown out the constant cacophony of voices whispering in my ear, telling me I am evil. Why do I hate myself so much? All right, so that was Lucifer, season four, episode eight. That ending made me so sad. The whole Amenadiel and Caleb. For me, kids being killed or in danger or anything like that, it's always going to affect me. I have a thing about kids. I don't like to see it. That is a very big trigger for me. It typically will get me. And for me, it also depends on how the scene is set up and how they do everything. So I'm going to deal with taking the necklace off and giving it to Caleb. When we all know what that necklace means to Benadiel, that it got me. Yeah, that got me. Poor Caleb, first of all. I mean, he didn't deserve that at all. But I feel really bad for Amenadiel. I mean, he definitely probably saw his son in Caleb. So he's gonna have to go through a whole grieving process for that. Obviously, we saw him wanting to rethink about raising his son on Earth, which I don't really know how that all works. I mean, I'm assuming he, when he says Earth isn't the best, he means heaven. I mean... I don't think they can go to different planets. Who knows? Yeah, so I'm assuming he means he wants to raise the kid in heaven, but by doing that, wouldn't you be taking the kid away from his mom? Right, because I mean, I don't think humans can just go to heaven and come back like angels can. So that's not gonna work. And Lucifer and Eve broke up. I don't really know where they're gonna go from here. I don't know how they're gonna end off this season. We actually haven't been like introduced to a season bad guy, right? Like typically for each season there's been one main focused bad guy. Because I mean I think it's unlikely that they just won't have a bad guy. So that means it has to be someone that we already know, Eve. That's the only thing I can think of. But I don't know. I mean she does seem really nice, but she also like she does seem to be able to relate to everybody, which could be a good sign. It could just B, she is a relatable person. She can figure out what other people are interested in and talk about that stuff. Or she's really good at manipulating people and telling people what they want to hear. I don't know. And there's a part of me that wants her to be a bad guy. So I won't feel so guilty about being suspicious of her. Because like if she does turn out to just be what she says, I'm going to feel so bad about that because she is a really cool character, if that's the truth. But I can't believe that and I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah, and Dan, he, he's not doing well. Like Dan, he just needs to tell the truth. Like he should have told Chloe last episode what was up. Like in my opinion, he doesn't even need to tell the precinct what happened. He doesn't need to tell the other cops. But he should definitely tell Chloe and Lucifer probably Ella too. Like, yeah, they'll be mad at him for a while, but I mean, they'll get over it. At least I think so. Because what he's doing now, it ain't it. It ain't it. It's gonna come back and bite him. And I don't want that for him. I mean, I do like Dan, even if he does piss me off sometimes. I mean, he's just grieving. He needs to know the truth too. They need to tell him. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say about this episode. If you guys want early and uncut reactions, leave my Patreon down in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!